Hey, Josh Tig, Running T Farms. Uh, evening cattle move here. Just wanted to uh, get a quick video here for some dung beetle activity. So this manure pile has been here for about an hour and a half or two hours. I know that because I just moved uh, the cattle into this paddock two hours ago and I came back uh, to, to move them for their fourth and final move of the day. Uh, so this manure pack couldn't have been here longer than two hours. So, uh, and there's there's many other ones that's the same way. I, I just happened to uh, stop here with this one uh, to get a, get a shot of this dung beetle activity. So uh, manure's been here two hours. Uh, it won't last two days uh, with this kind of dung beetle activity before they will have it uh, desiccated and uh, most of it buried in the ground most of these you're seeing on top here are dwellers but i have seen some uh, gazelle dung beetles uh under there that's already burying this this manure in the ground so we love to see uh, nature at work it's amazing what happens when you stop pouring poison all over your your cattle uh at the uh, soil biology and how nature can uh, just take care of things. It's, uh, you're not gonna have uh, near as much fly load on your cattle when uh, two hours after uh, <clears throat> this cow pile has been dropped and you've got this kind of dung beetle activity. So uh, it looks like right there a, a cow has actually stepped on this when I moved them and you can see it killed some dung beetles there. So. Uh, just a just a shot of the dung beetle activity here at the final cattle move of the day. I uh, hope everybody has a fantastic day. You can check us out online at runningtbeef.com. You can like us on Facebook at uh, Running Tea Beef. If you're watching on YouTube, make sure and hit that uh, subscribe and like button on your way out. So uh, everybody have a, a great day. Cattle are grazing their last break of the day. So I uh, hope everybody has a fantastic evening.